really bring them to their top, although I think they're at the top at the present time. Van der Haar gave it a beautiful display at full forward. Also, Danaher at centre-half forward. In the centre, Nagel was going like a bomb. In fact, Richmond never had a winner at all right throughout the game. The only little bit of highlight was, of course, that uh, the kids went on with the game. They played the four quarters out, and that was a beautiful thing to see. Barling pulled. Tigers and the Dons. And it was Essendon at their best as Neagle streams through the half-forward line. Van der Haar claps it cleverly out to Elshaw. Walsh this time, combining with Baker and Elshaw for another. It was just part of a 13-goal win. Mark Harvey. And completing the marks of the day, Philip Egan of Richmond to our panel, headed by Bob Merv Neagle. Plucking it out with the one hand, running through the half-forward line and goaling. And completing our segment today. Yes, but I think you must expect this a little bit against the Nesson side like that, with a lot of juniors in your side and your, and your Ruckman missing out of the side. You don't take them into consideration, but they've got a touch of final class about them. This uh, Essendon side, which is a, a big factor in football, and they've got very big interchange players too. They've, they can put them at the back line, they can put them on the forward line. They've also got about six, six footers on the main manning the back lines, which is a big thing with a bit of pace and a bit of knowledge of football. And they started off, Richmond started off like a bomb, but. Uh, they had three shots of goal before Essendon woke up, but uh, it was all the full forward Roach, and he missed them all, and then Richmond collapsed, and they took over all over the ground. And uh, some beautiful football for Van der Haar. You want to ask the question? Yes. Yes, uh, Richmond has spent a bit of money and a few players in the last couple of years. Have they been an old Richmond champion? Are they a bit of an embarrassment to you at the moment, Richmond Football Club, the way they're playing? That's a very leading question, that one. And uh, I don't know whether you want an answer at all. I do I want an answer. answer. Yes, I, I would have asked. Yeah. How many clubs did you have? Yeah, how many clubs did you get? Were you an embarrassment <laughs> of the clubs that you went to? No, never I think you were, as a matter of fact. They got really out of two clubs and then really got on the third. Right. But they're, do they're doing their best a little bit down there. The ones that they, they uh, think might stop, they'll stop. The others, they'll drift them out of the game and, and send them back where they come from. Jack, All right. Uh, Jimmy, Jess and Morris Rioli have been down this year on their best form. Uh, yesterday, were they subdued? Uh, Morris put in the worst one I've seen him put in. He uh, got into the middle of the packs and couldn't get out of them. And uh, he, he had a very bad day. And the other one, of course, Jimmy Jesse's recovery is very bad, Jimmy. I'm sorry to say about this one, but when you miss one now, you let about three players have the run behind you, and you, when you miss it in front, you have to let two have a go at it in front before you can recover. And he's not playing well at all, Jimmy Jesse. He's dropping marks and doing a few wrong things, but he's out of touch. Without Simon Madden, uh, the Essendon Well, I was very pleased because I'm a, a little believer in this fellow because he went into the ruck, he went in against Barling, they had a chance for a young player, and they put Walsh in to give him a bit of confidence, which he did. He went very well indeed, Walsh, and then we went in the back line took a few good marks there so he's back in town like, uh, a western a full back i thought uh, no goals against you and a very solid job indeed it was and uh, foals well he's a much cool and calculating footballer foals i wasn't much raps him years ago but he certainly developed into a very solid football and a beautiful kick of one and the other one was terry dan there's no doubt about him he can play anywhere you want to put him this follow and go on for game went back to the center half forward and kicked uh, two he kicked four goals in the finish but uh, he certainly can handle the ball he brings players into a this quarter, seven minutes after the start, commentators Tim Lane and Jeff Leake. On confidence too, and the early goal, so kicks for goals count. Wood. It was Foley for Richmond. The Tigers without their leader, Mark Lee, and also uh, the veteran and champion Barry Rollings, also a, a previous captain. The back of the pack, it looked good, it was Landy. Good play, Carey, to find Neil down to his first kick. Not a bad one. Nicely placed down to the half forward flank, marked by Elshaw. Elshaw kicks down to Merritt. Merritt and Jess. Good play. Good position, uh, body position there by Roger Merritt, who just tucked himself a good metre and a half away from Jim Jess and judged the fight of that ball superbly. And this should be the first goal of the match coming up. to each side so far. Didn't mess about. Long kick followed through. Goal to Roger Merritt. Umpire Phil Waite officiating with Tony Bryant. Walsh 
Hugh Ruckman wins, but straight to uh, Poole. Free kick goes to Thompson. Gets the Dons out of the middle. Carey. Here comes Van der Haar. No, not in the hunt then. Strawn. Grabbed it nicely. Looked like a fumble at first, but uh, then he took it to the centre line. Neil Danaher, the spoiler at the back. And finally a ball up. On the wing, Essendon 7, Richmond 1. Look at the new Ruckman, that's Walsh. Uh, unaccustomed position for him, he's number 30. And there he goes against uh, young Barling. Barling turned his body in nicely, gets a tap away. With a pushing, shoving uh, there. Richmond's free kick. Good lead by Roach. Lovely kick there at, uh, from Geary. Now this is Roach's third kick for goal. The first uh, kick uh, was a behind. He should have kicked that one. The second from a very difficult angle missed the uh, missed the area completely. So uh, he's kicked one point, which is Richmond's score so far. He's kicking this one from 40 metres. Straight in front though. Oh, it's a lovely kick. But he's... Pull that across to the left, and Roach plays on confidence. He's second behind, and that happens to be uh, Richmond's score. Folds drops it short for Carey, who doesn't let him down. It's going to be a keen battle between Roach and Weston. Roach certainly on top, and Weston lucky that his uh, copybook hasn't been well and truly blotted in the first 10 minutes. Desperate lunging start from the Bombers, as they're so uh, prone to do. Win the free kick. Michael Thompson onto Baker. Star in the finals last year. Centres it for Van der Haar, who was late on to a Curial Merv Neagle. That was brilliant. Essendon, two goals, one. The Tigers, two behinds. The umpires with a good bounce in the centre. Barling gets it down. Walsh fell down. That's his opponent. Big scrimmage in the centre of the field. It comes down. Pearl went right past him. Good play here. Thompson. It's Michael Thompson to Baker. And the loose man out there is Harvey. Harvey, a good 50 metres from goal. Has plenty of time for steady. Ducks around the man in the mark, and the handball's dreadful to Alshaw. Gives Richmond a possession chance here. And he is in there, pushing the ball out of play. Essendon's forward pocket. Merritt against Barling. Merritt just floating it to the back to uh, Thompson. Well played by uh, the Tigers. Vernon on the ground, started on the bench. Here's Mark Thompson, swings it back. Michael Thompson, rather, and puts it through for their third. And I get the feeling the Tigers have missed their chance. They had opportunities to score a couple of early goals. The Bombers, from less opportunities, have kicked three and lead by 17 points. There's a centre bounce again. Walsh with a nice tap. Can't find a rover there. Neagle ducks his head, cops one high. Not Neagle, it's Terry Danaher. Oh, the loose man's floating out there is Carey. Carey moved from the half-back flank to the half-forward flank. And there's Danaher and, and uh, Van der Haas, the target. He's moved in well. Got it. Good thinking by Van der He's ducked back towards the goal square, then let out very quickly. A good 20 metres away from the goal square and has taken that mark. The Bombers in full flight. Kicking is beautiful. The last four shots for goal for the Bombers have been goals. Four different players. Van der Haar, Roger Merritt was the first, and Michael Thompson and Merv Neagle. Well, they're really showing why they're at the head of the ladder and why they're the reigning premiers. Such a seasoned side now. Started this game just a little bit slowly. Richmond all pumped up, but uh, it's the Dons who are four goals in front. We're at the halfway mark of the first quarter. 
and on the scoreboard it's all Essendon. Here they go again, Michael Thompson who's kicked one of the four, Vanderhaar. Oh. Premiership stuff this. Well within range for him. He could kick twice this distance if he had to. That's his second. Great stuff by the Dutchman. Two goals in 30 seconds, and the Dons by 29 points. Bombers in a burst away here in the first quarter. Five goals, one to the Tigers, two behinds. Trying to break away with it again. Michael Thompson had the ball, the umpire to ball it up. Just uh, the forward side of the centre for the Bombers. That's Barling with a backhander, but it's not a good hit at all. There's an army of Bombers there, and the handball starts up there. Down a herd of Wood. Wood from the wing, into centre half forward. Jimmy Jess thumps it along, looking for a small play to grab it. Neagle chase out, he said, it's mine. Crashes through the pack, sidesteps. Good play, Neagle. Chips one down and down ahead. Great play. Skipper says just cool it, slow this one down and maybe even have a shot. Long way out, a great goal if he could do it. Gave it a good old try for a minor result. 5-2 plays two behinds and all of a sudden there's just one team in this and they're wearing red and black. Greg Strawn uh, has got a little bit of a puzzle at the moment to whom to kick the football. Uh, they start in the centre. Richmond do this and they move out to either side. Egan at the back, knocked away, taller players. Vernon tried to tackle. Here's Mark Thompson on a Welshaw of the Rover. Shepherded for by Baker. Goes for the long goal. Van der Haar and Strawn. Bounce through! Good Lord. At quarter time, Essendon 8 5 to 1 3. We go to the second quarter, one minute in. Oh, Merritt had a hand of it. There's a heap of players there like a pile of beans. Human beans. <laughs> one lot doing much better than the others at the moment. Van der Haar for his fourth. That's another one. To Shane Hurd, the man who fed the hand pass to him, the Mr. Anonymous of League Football, and Van der Haar is having them delivered to him on a platter. About three minutes into the second term, and uh, Essendon are leading by 50 points. Van der Haar has just kicked his fourth goal. The Bombers getting the ball out of the uh, out of the centre with consummate ease. Here's Young Barling, the replacement for their injured skipper Lee, gets a handball to the man running through. It's all right too. Oh, I'm waiting at the back, and that should never happen as Weston took it on his knees. Thompson, Mark, there are two Thompsons playing for Essendon, and this fellow's doing well. As is the other one, as are the other 18. Here goes Clark. Long one to Terry Danaher. Well spoiled by Paul, who wins the ball on the ground as well. One of Richmond's uh, few contributors so far. Eventually, umpire Waite elects to bounce on Essendon's half-forward line. Fairly heavy, that piece of ground there. Jimmy Jess, the ruckman there. With Shane Hurd, the handball coming. McKenna, a chance. Kick the ball, not a good one. Vernon gets in, taps it on. Good bit of play there. Here's an ear. But the free kick comes back. Uh, half a kick. McKenna for Richmond takes it. On the back flank. Small men for Richmond, McKenna and Waitman have hardly touched the ball between them. Two kicks to McKenna, and I don't think Waitman's had one. Barling had it and dropped it, gets it again. Did it well. Vernon, up to half forward, looking for Roach. Rioli, roved it well. Good tackling, Walsh. Good play, Rioli. Beautifully done. 35 metres out. It took the skill of Rioli to break the net that the Essendon defence has cast over Richmond. David Palm, normally a defender. Hasn't kicked too badly for a defender. Richmond's second goal. Tigers have got their second goal. 
Walsh gets out of the centre, then the Tigers not to be outdone. He's in here, or is it Eustace rather? And eager this time. All he could see in front of him was a mass of red and black socks, I think, and uh, it was a bit too much for him. But he wins the free kick about half forward. Be a long kick now. Roach uh, has had uh, two behinds and a miss at this stage, and he kicks it to him this time. Great stuff. He knocked away from him though. Watson playing on the back line. Geary. He's gone. And two quick goals by the Tigers within a minute. They've uh, pumped some blood back into them and uh, taken them out of the also ran class. 38 point lead still to the Dons. McKenna puts Richmond into attack again. Neil Danaher. Weston was held and gets a free. On the half back line. Had some shaky moments early against Roach, who had a couple of set shots from within 25 metres and missed both. Weston back to the centre line. Barley, good solid mark. Good fellow for the 210 metre player, and he gets it away quickly and then into attack. Oh, lovely stretching mark there by Weston. Gee, he's a good player. Across to Baker, who slipped across into the back pocket, and there's always someone running. This time it's Wood. Many games for the Tigers, and also cap of the Tigers in years past, and still putting in there. And that's Pearl who uh, takes the ball over. Eston's half forward line. Pull on Terry Danaher, the Essendon skipper, and he's really keeping him honest. Seven minutes gone. Richmond trying to mount a fight back. Free kick to Elshaw for a high tackle on the half forward line. Not much coming in the way of leads. He might go for Van der Haar's leap and height. He's outnumbered. Danaher now. Brought down. Ball up. Hairline decision for umpire Waite. McKenna tackling from behind. Danaher fell face first. And might have been held without uh, the ball. But the umpire satisfied that there was no free. Well, Walsh got up high. Found her over Elshaw. Oops, down to Danaher. Tigers coming in now. They're tackling this and, uh, with a bit more vigour and quicker. Hard to match the Essendon aggression, though. Yeah. Just so evident when they really concentrate their minds. Danaher floats it to no one in particular. Vander Harder to Elshaw, his second. Great stuff, Vander, who's kicked four and gave that one away in spectacular style. A thumping for Richmond, Essendon by 81 points. It was virtually over at quarter time when the Bombers led by 44 points. Vanderhaar five goals, Terry Danaher four, Elshaw three, and for the Tigers, Palm kicked five goals, and Paul Vanderhaar was reported for wasting time. An interesting fact about the game is that it breaks a deadlock between the clubs. Over the years, they've won 70 of their clashes each and drawn three. Essendon now hit the front, coached by former Richmond player Kevin Sheedy, while the Tigers were coached by a former bomber, Paul Sproul. We'll file that in your trivia bin. Well, one of, our, one of the, be, uh, the best bombers on the field was defender Gary Folds, and here he is talking to Tim Lane. Played in a lot of Essendon sides. How much is the 84, 85 Essendon side better than those of the previous 10 years or so? Well, I'd say, Tim, that uh, you know, we've got a uh, good balance of players now, and uh, I'd say you know, definitely the best sides that I've played in since the time I've been here. And uh, Shoes has got a, uh, a good mixture of players uh, that you need to be a, a top side these days. It looks as though the side's really benefited from winning last year's flag. That it's given them a shot of confidence. Is that so? Yeah, well, uh, you know, I think last year we you know, finally proved that we could be the best side. And uh, you know, pressure's on this year to continue to do that. And uh, we know each week we're up, uh, you know, up for grabs. And uh, you know, it's making us concentrate a lot more. And... Uh, Hopefully we can go on and win again. What about its effect on you? After quite a lengthy career, you'd played 200 games or so by the time you won the Premiership. Did it give you a lift? Yeah, it certainly did. That feeling of success was uh, probably a thing that's uh, you know, for myself and uh, likes of Simon Madden and uh, a few of them have been around for such a long time that uh, that, that success is just you know, drives you on further to uh, try and win again. Do you think you've improved as a footballer in the last 12 months? Well, yeah, I've certainly... Uh, 
you know, I hope I can still uh, go out there and do something, but uh, you know, the way Sheeds has uh, approached training and uh, you know, telling you the things to do and concentrate on all the time, uh, you know, it's got to improve everyone, I think. They've cleared away by a game and a half, Carlton still in the five. Fitzroy moved up two places, just one game outside the five, and the Swans still only two games outside the five, but three games... ...to the centre, lead from Walsh. No mark, still going. Well tackled by Strawn. Vanderhaar and Jess, Donnell, straight to McKenna. Walsh again, determined start, great goal! Brilliant goal by Kevin Walsh. Seventh kick only for Morris Rioli. Too far for Roach. Weston, fine player. To behind. Anir, Rioli. Too far out to score. Don't know who he was looking for in there. Up to half forward. Walsh. No one against him. Baker. Open goal coming up for Elshaw. Wide open goal. That's his third. Ten behinds. But a four-goal last quarter saw them go on to win the match by the Lions fought back.